everybody, we are live on MMORPG.com's live stream, and we are playing Torchlight 2's beta. That's right, Torchlight 2's beta. No NDA, so we're doing it. It's that easy. There's four of you watching already. I love that. So, there you go. Login screen. Let me, uh, let me turn down the volume. Get this sucker a little bit. You guys are doing good. I know I am, because I'm in the Torchlight 2 beta. It's amazing. Dr. Pepper, shameless plug. I wish they were paying me. So, I'm only playing on normal. I uh, don't expect to see anything too difficult. I'm going to leave the game open for any of you that want to join me. Right now, we can only test. Oh, hello. We can only test the LAN. Or not the LAN. They're telling me it's the wrong password. No, that's wrong. Ruh row. Didn't I just make this password? We might have hit a snag, folks. <laughs> Resume. Internet. Phew. Knew it wasn't the, really the wrong password. Got scary. So this is the, uh, the lobby right now. You can join games that are already in progress or you can make your own. So I will create my own and I'll leave it open. I'll put a password on it. It will be MMORPGCOM. The game name's gonna be Bill. I'll make the maximum number of players up to six. You can come hang out with me if you want. Should be fun. I can't believe uh, this game's finally live, to be honest. Well, I should say it's not live, but the beta is finally live. I know it's just stress testing. It's running until June. Hopefully you guys will get in. Get your own chance. Look, it can fish. Still fishing. Wait for it. There we go. I caught a web fish. Alright, let's... Oh, didn't want that. Let's zoom in here. Show you my guy. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Ron Swanson. <laughs> My character's name is Ron Swanson, just so you all know. Started playing him last night. I literally just got to the first city hub and did the first quest. There's my dog. Let's see, let's bring up the dog. That's April Ludgate. I'm a fan of Parks and Rec. Hope that's okay. And I'm actually playing the Engineer. The Engineer class is pretty sweet. That's the map. I don't want the map. Let's put that there. Let me get my map, my skills up here. There we go. So right now I'm focusing on uh, the construction path. These are like bots and stuff that you make and little pets and minions. Uh, I've, first one you get is a healing bot. I'm working on him. But you also have Blitz, which focuses on your big two-handed hammers uh, and all those kind of weapons. And then you have Aegis, which are all about uh, your auras and defenses and stuff like that. So anyway, what am I doing standing around? Let's go. This guy had asked me for a favor. What's your business here? Huh. Okay. So we got a quest or two. We'll get out of here. The game runs really smoothly, even at the highest settings. I was playing it earlier today on my uh, my office PC, which literally has a uh, an onboard video card. And it's fine. It runs perfect. Uh, not this high of graphics, but it does run. <laughs> Let's get my bot out. There we go. See, here's my little healer. Gotta love healers. Let's go kill some stuff. That helps. Like I said, you guys can join me. The game's name is Bill. And you can, the password is MMORPGCOM. It's interesting because every class this time around, oh look, that guy's walking. On hands and feet. On just his hands. 
Um, every class this time around has their own sort of building, build up mechanic too. Like the Berserker has a rage sort of mechanic. After you build it up enough time, you'll go into a frenzy for a few seconds. And when you're frenzied, you destroy everything real quick. I just realized I leveled up and didn't even pay attention. So, uh, the main skills for the engineer this time around are strength and vitality. That's what I'm focusing on. And skills, as I said, I'm focusing on my little healer bot for now. They'll come in handy. That's my one skill, my flame hammer. Gotta love it. Again, this is very early. I just digged level 4, for those of you that are watching. It's not like I've been playing this for very long. Oh look, a little mini boss. I love the loot pinatas. I could do that all day. I discovered a magical item. Also cool. So you can't rotate the camera, at least, yeah, I don't see the rotation ability, so that kind of stinks, but you can see behind everything. And just like before, every class can dual wheel. Did you guys see that? I hope you saw that. That was definitely straight out of uh, straight out of Mythos before they brought him back. Remember those blood fiends that you used to be able to use in Mythos? I think you probably still can in the revitalized version, but it's not from this company. Um, anyway, you stand, you can dual wield. That's a two-handed axe. I need a one-handed weapon. Shoulder armor. Na -na -na. Na -na -na. Let's put that there. Dual wielding engineer. My favorite. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Again, I just replay myself, but what can you say? It's from the creators of Diablo and Torchlight 1. Not exactly much more to say. If you want to join me, the game name is Bill, simply Bill. I'll gladly have you. Password is MMORPGCOM. I'm going to stream this for probably about an hour or so, I'm guessing. Oh no, poisonous mushrooms. I know you're probably wondering, Bill, why aren't you playing Terra? Um, I got Torchlight 2 beta. <laughs> what do you say? There's another beta I'm in that I cannot stream, but we will be this weekend. I just can't tell you about it yet. Ding! Level 5. Woo! Okay. See, I can't go any higher with that one, so now I can actually diversify a little bit. I mean, it's 3 out of 15, but you have to be level 6 before you can go higher. So I could hold on to my skill point, or, you know, I can actually use one of these. That's all about shields. I'm not using a shield right now. We'll focus on blitz and construction. That'll be the two paths I sort of take. And yes, my dog is an English Bulldog. And yes, his name is April Ludgate. I'm Ron Swanson. If I can name the healing bot, it would be Andy Dwyer or Tom Haverford. 
How are you guys doing? I mean, there's 15 of you out there. I know you're not all silent partners. I love that skill. God, that's fun. Mechanic has changed a little bit. When I first played the Engineer, it was in beta several, several months ago, maybe several years ago now. And he had this thing where he built up three charges and you could unleash them with the other click. And now it seems to build up slowly, and if you don't keep going, it, uh, it disappears. It's kind of, I liked the old way better, I think, because it was more active. But if I wait and use that skill, that flame thing, I'll get more damage from it. I just can't stop using it. <laughs> you know how it is. Get a new toy. Gotta play with it. So, the Corrupted Crypt. Your help. You must be the human the other Esthelevents are speaking of. Go to the Corrupted Crypt. Yada, yada, yada. Retrieve a scroll. Wait in the path of the honored dead. And if I do that for him, he'll give me a better axe, which is kind of awesome, actually. It's only... it's one... oh, it's level 11. Good lord. It's way ahead of me. You have received a quest. So... This is loot I won't be able to use for five levels. But we're gonna go. Why not? It's a mini side dungeon. Let's do it. And I'm burping. I just ate the best pizza ever. Well, the best trash pizza ever. You guys tried that? Pizza Hut's... Uh, what is it called? Cheesy Bites Pizza, where the crust is little cheesy nuggets of bread? Oh, man. It's like fat guy heaven. I love that thing. I eat more of it right now, but I should probably leave some for my wife. Ooh, the heater. I could do the shield now. I love my two-handed weaponry, though. Green blobs. Everybody look out. Green blobs are on the case. Still damaging me. Maybe we should pay attention. Oh, I just realized something. There we go. I don't know if he was dead when I got in here like gone or not, but it's a nice little thing to have. It doesn't heal you too much, but just enough. It's pizza with cheese sticks attached to it. Exactly. I mean, it's not like fried cheese sticks, they're breaded cheese sticks. Right? And carbs are way better than fried stuff. Yeah, you guys saw that, right? You saw that hammer. Hey, I, I do love the Burnians. <laughs> okay, let's see if any of these are actually good things to use. Two armor, let's get new boots. There we go. Shield, not gonna use it. Screw shields. Hasty axe, there we go. Eight armor for that jacket. Wow, 48. Okay, uh, not better than my axe or my truncheon. At least in terms of DPS. Very basic when it comes to what I want to do. Hello. I love the aesthetic of this engineer, too. Sort of steampunk. Giant mustache. There's a couple, there's actually four great classes in this game. Um, but this is the one that we actually Maybe Rob will play somebody later. <laughs> it looks a lot like D3 to you. That's not a surprise. Um, to me, it looks a lot like Torchlight 1 uh, finally impregnated Diablo 2, and they had a baby. And that baby was cartoony, but awesome. Um, it does remind me of, of Diablo, and that makes sense, because, quite honestly, Max Schaefer and uh, Travis Baldry both have their roots from, uh, you'll be, you won't be a barbarian, Rob. You won't be a barbarian. You will be a, uh, what's the word? I think they call him a berserker. But, um, both of their roots, like, Travis Baldry made Fate. He was the lead designer on Fate. I'm sure you've played that. A lot, almost everybody has, which was a Diablo clone. And then Max Schaefer, who founded Runic Games, He also co-founded Hellgate London, 
or not Hellgate London, uh, Flagship, he was one of those folks too, just FYI. Um, he, uh, he decided, you know what, we're going to stop trying to make games that are new and different when it comes to the action RPG because it doesn't necessarily work that way. Uh, Hellgate didn't work out, as they saw, so they decided, him and Travis and the rest of the team that formed Rooted Games, decided to come here and make, uh, the first game they made was Torchlight 1. And Torchlight 1 was very much a throwback to the original Diablo, with a single dungeon with multiple levels, but a storyline to follow, with several classes, and then like a never-ending dungeon at the end, too. Uh, but it was very much, you know, single town, one dungeon, and different levels on each dungeon. Very much like Diablo. They, and they were not coy about it. They weren't like, hey, I, uh... They weren't like, hey, I, we're trying to make a game and it's not anything like Diablo. They basically said, yeah, we want to we wanna revisit Diablo. That's what they made. And it worked. Uh, and it was for 20 bucks, how can you go bad? <clears throat> This game itself is also going to be 20 bucks, and it's got full online play, huge world to, to go through, much like Diablo 2 had. And it's free online play, by the way, and land. I mean, yeah, that's essentially what they did. They they threw some innovations at the old uh, the old Diablo mechanics. Namely, they kept Travis Baldry and, and Fate's idea of having this pet that went with you the whole time. And um, you could go back to town and sell stuff for you. You could transform him. You could give him spells and other stuff. Basically, like having a constant companion that also could carry your loot. <laughs> that's one thing they did. The randomization is here, too, I do believe. Everything's random when you load a dungeon for the first time. Although, I'm honestly, I'm trying to think about some of the things they did uh, that are really innovative outside of the pet, and the pet itself was taken from Travis's old game. Um, they innovated in the classes a little bit. They've got these charge bars and everything. You know? Um, I, I can't think of much else. I mean, it's still a classic hack and slash Diablo clone. Fallen Guardian. I don't even know what's going on. I'm not even paying attention to where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, all the user-created mods will be awesome in this game. I hope that they'll, they'll support it with online play, too. Like, I hope you could upload the mods and use them in an online match. But, hey, if not, lands will work. Did my little buddy not come with us? There we go. Ow, this guy's hit harder. Come back here. Sorry, April. Ludgate. Holy shit. Fallen Guardian, a bit of a pain in the ass. Throw that out there. Ow. The blowback. It's okay. That's what the healing potions are for. You a hole. There he goes. I got the scroll the dude wanted. Some shitty gloves. <laughs> okay, so if you both download it, you can use the mods. That's awesome, Jeffrey. That's ideal, too. Oh, hi there. Is that another mini boss? Corgle. Hi, Corgle. 
my clicker is crappy. This guy hits hard. Oh, I level. Don't pay attention again. Need someone with a bleeper? F you guys. <laughs> Although that would be actually awesome. <laughs> I need a bleeper. I need somebody just sitting but standing by to go bleep. Did I say that? Oh. We're adults here. I think I said don't say fuck. I said don't say fuck. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Whoops. Oopsie. I think that is what I said though. Empty sockets. Pet and minion health. Physical armor? Yeah, let's do that one. No, I need physical armor. 47. Got all that crap to sell. Some fish, too. Look. Here we go. He's, a, he's, he's one of those things now. Oh, I leveled again. See, I just said that and I forgot already. I'm having too much fun just messing around with you guys. <laughs> Ten years in the Marine Corps, I bet you're used to swearing then, yeah. You should you could probably swear. We'll let that happen. Yes, that's what I wanted. Crossbow that I can't really use, because I don't use crossbows. <laughs> One thing I wanted to point out here, uh, and I, I might have been this way in the PC version of, of Torchlight. I've been playing the Xbox Live version, so I'm not sure. But just by pressing Z or X, you can use your best mana potions, so you don't have to go far. I've got a map to the one and two keys on my Naga, so that makes it easy too. But if you're playing without a mouse with 13 extra keys, you can do it right there on Z and X. Let's see. Let's keep making my little healer guy. Need him. Keep making him better. Need to gain a level of fame. You get fame. You get fame for uh, for doing quests, for beating those purple bosses, and fame when every time you level, just like in Torchlight One. If you get a fame level, you also get a skill point. So you get levels from leveling up, and you get levels from fame levels. I can't use any of those stuff. The Two-handed sledge. Wow. But here's the chain. Let's see, this one uh, conveys 65 physical damage over 5 seconds. But this one, see, it, it does better DPS, but this one's more... I don't, I, I don't know. I like my two-handed weapons. My, uh, my single-handed dual wielding. I think I'll just do that. Also, you get pet gear, but April Lengate doesn't need gear. <laughs> Screw her. What I need to do is send my pet off to town to sell some stuff. I think it's control click to transfer. Shift click to transfer. Okay. All this junk. Optimus Grime. <laughs> What's going on, people? I want that axe. I have to wait. There, change my pants again. Three armor. Number seven. Sorry, you guys have to watch me sort out my inventory, but that's the name of the game. Half of the job. Ooh. Ooh. Why am I not wearing that? There we go. Half of this game, I'm gonna spend sorting out crap in my inbox, my inventory. There. Send back to town. Thirty seconds, he'll be back. You just get here. What's your business here? All right. Well, let's go on. This is the. Hey, that's not right. Wellspring Temple. The Enclave. Well, it looks like we're gonna keep going. Protect the Guardian? Yeah, okay. Hey, pet. 
my pet got stuck. April Ludgate's kind of stupid. <laughs> so if you're just joining us, this is MMORPG.com's uh, live stream of Torchlight 2's beta. And we are, I think, level 6? Level 6. We just essentially started. And this is an engineer character, which is basically a, a hammer and dual-wielding tank beast guy. I mean, they're all, they all, every class has their own specialties. This guy is all about, well, hitting things and using little constructed minions. Is it open beta or closed? It's closed, essentially, right now. It's just like a sort of a month-long stress test they're running, and they're inviting and ramping up people to sort of test the online servers. Um, as far as I know, Torchlight 2 is probably going to be coming out not too long after Diablo 3. They, I don't think they really care about the competition in this case. You have Torchlight fans and there's Diablo fans, and pretty much both can be both. Like the shit we are streaming, you follow the channel, follow our Twitters. Yep, that's what he says. What Grack says, follow the Twitters down below, follow the damn channel, and go over to MMORPG.com slash streams.cfm. Grack, type that in there. And watch it on the website, because we want your traffic. We do. Waypoint. See? Diablo's waypoints. I am now at the temple steps. They're being, they're not, they're not being coy, like I said, about uh, copying Diablo. They know it. They're the guys that made Diablo. There's nothing wrong with that. The more hack and slash games there are, the better. He has me. The Path of Exile also. like these guys. Click. Sometimes the click detection's a little off. I feel like I'm hovering right over these guys. That's giving me some nuts. Take it. Eat it. There. Sometimes you just gotta make people eat things. Will MMORPG be my wife? Yes. <laughs> yes, it will. Oh, these guys are huge. Actually, gotta say, the uh, the design of this game from the last one has gotten better. Everything's bigger and taller. There's more of a sense of scale to it. It's nice to be out of a dungeon and out in the open too. I think it's cool. Jeez, shatter that shield. Yep, X split. Pretty much everybody. I don't think there's a single person on here that uses that Adobe thing. I think everybody uses X split. God, I love the music in this game too. They just keep coming, don't they? I like that you can build up charges. I'll have to remember that. Mother might have been a clicker. I don't know. Jeez, it's a nice little sort of mini event. Run around like crazy. All my white 
equipment. If anybody says, <coughs> why's it gotta be white? I'll laugh, because that's funny. More dudes. Hey, dudes. Wow, I'm getting kind of murdered right now. Hey, I just got a new ship. Do something and you'll get this. Bring out your dad. Another see like you can work your way towards these quest marks, but you end up finding other ones. What are you gonna do? Before anyone asks, though, uh, yes, we know Torchlight 2 is not an MMO, but considering it's preceding the eventual Torchlight MMO, we decided to stream it anyway. Oh, that's why I think so big. Holy crap. Get rid of that hammer. Belts no longer give armor. Here, we'll use a cap. There. Now I look like a freaking pirate. Come on. Here we go. Pirate with an awesome mustache and monocle. Yeah, sequel, I can show you the skills. Why not? In fact, I should probably spend the skill point I earned. So, <clears throat> this is the engineer skill tree. Got three different trees to go down. They're fairly straightforward. Blitz, uh, focusing mostly on his actual attack skills with his hammers and things like that, but it doesn't matter. You don't have to be using a hammer. Uh, you have Flame Hammer, which is the one that I've been using that strikes flames everywhere. Uh, this one is sort of your normal passive area. You can see that all three of these are uh, are passive. And you have your seismic slam, which is like a, I, I guess, a slam. What else? <laughs> Stop the ground and stuff happens. Ember hammer. What is that? Deliver a powerful sidelock swing, which channels ember energy into a wide arc, destroying shields. Kind of could use that. Onslaught, leap forward like a charge. Ember Quake, overhand smash, and sends eight magma fissures racing outward. Wow, I think I'm going to stick with Blitz. And then these are currently locked, I can't see them yet. Alright, this is construction. This deals with all the uh, all little robot pads and minions you can build. This is the one I've been using right now, it's the healing bot effect. There we go, watch him get built. We got a spider mines. Gun bot, blast cannon, and you have defensive passives, which are nice. And a shock grenade, which self-explanatory, right? It's a shock grenade. And then of course the ones I cannot see, assuming you have to be over a certain level before you see them. And then we have Aegis, or Aegis, I don't know how you say that. Uh, mostly dealing with the shield and the skills revolving around that. A lot of magic dynamo field. It's kind of cool. This deals with this thing on the back right there, too. And it's for people who want to use a sword and board, sword and shield. It's pretty cool. I haven't messed with it much. You can respec in this game, too. Yeah, sequel, there's a, there's a lot more skills than you thought, too. Uh, or than I thought. A lot of different viable builds to use. I'm going with uh, Blitz and Construction right now. I think I'm actually going to get myself something. Long range burning projectile from your cannon. Requires a cannon, not using a cannon. So I won't use that. Gunbot, defense. Trio of spider drones. You know what? Let's go. Let's focus on Blitz. We'll just keep building up this healing bot. And we'll go with Blitz because it just looks cool. What do we got here? 
That one. All right. So, keep my hands on X and Z. And let's use two for that. One for that. Well, no. No, nah, Torchlight 1, I guess, didn't really have too many. This one does. And they're all fairly unique, too. That'll be nice. Red Clay is still there. Okay. Off we go. At least we know we have a Shatter now. Work. I think it works. See the clicking? Wow. I feel like I'm totally off with my clicks. to hit. God, I love that skill. Should have put more points in that. But unlike Diablo and Diablo 2, you can respec. It's in-game. Uh, you can respec in Torchlight 1, I know, but you had to do it with a mod. Jesus, this guy ports around a lot. You have become more skillful. Oh, yeah. Wow, I got so many, so many little things have dropped. For me to pick up. Oh, hey. An unidentified ring is always a good thing. Let's use that to identify. Oh, I can't use it. What's we got? Healthy boots that I can't use. A hand bombard cannon. You guys want to see what a cannon looks like? Because now I kind of do. <laughs> I beg your pardon, but. <laughs> He carries around just a just a giant cannon. Just hey, uh, uh, uh. How does that work? How does that work like with this? You can't use it with that. You have to be. If I use a cannon, I can't use my skills. So we're probably not going to use the cannon all that much. But I had to see it, right? It concusses them. <laughs> Okay, so maybe a cannon build would be fun to try, too. Just maybe. We got, ooh, an enchanted mace. Tons of junk that just starts to supersede everything else I have. Gotta watch out. That was cool. Let's see that again. Okay. 
to send April back to town soon. Oh, look at that. I forgot. Somebody has to tell me when I level like that. points. Let's boost one into that, because I really like that skill. And yes, I know there's a door back there. These ghosts are nuts! Plus, I want to give a shout out also to our sister site, RTS Guru, uh, who recently began their stream career this week. If you go over to twitch.tv slash RTS Guru, you can see what, uh, what Casey Gilder, the Gentleman Geek, is doing right now. Not to throw you away from this, but in case you're curious about MOBAs, he's over there playing them right now. At least that's what he'll be doing tonight. Probably till about 11.30, too, so he'll be up for a while. He's a really funny guy. Ohio native. So go have some fun and play with him. Uh-oh. Stuff just got real, son. And those are my dogs that you hear. Running around like crazy. Okay. So, <laughs> what's this hat? Oh, they're shoulders. They're cloth shoulders. The hat looked better. Okay. No, I was talking about RTS Guru. Get Goop. FPS Guru, actually. Uh, is not streaming right now, but they have a live interview coming up with Matt Higby of Planet Side 2 uh, on Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern, so watch out for that also. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash RTSGuru.com. <laughs> RTSGuru.com. Twitch.tv slash RTSGuru. And FPSGuru.com, which is Twitch.tv slash FPSGuru. All this stuff I'm not using. I really want to use those blue items. Sorry, Cannon. That's kind of cool. A bloody goblin mortar. I'm going to sell it too. <clears throat> I've got my weapons of choice. Okay. You, Pat. Pat has departed. Go away. Okay. Let's see if this cloth's best. I'll keep my strength. Although that looks sweet. I'll keep the strength. So we're playing Torchlight 2. <laughs> you guys couldn't tell. Might look a little familiar. Looks like Torchlight 1 or Diablo or any other action RPG. Well, this one's online, so if you if you are in the beta and want to play with me, I'm on the game called Bill. My password is MMORPGCom. Just in case any of you out there are actually actively playing the game, too. Whoops! Probably should have done that. It's about to get far. Whoops. Hey, who are you? That wasn't so hard. Mind you, I still haven't played... Uh, I still haven't fought a boss other than that one guy. Which I don't think is really classified as a boss. There's my healer. You little turd burglar. 
hiding that whole time. It's okay, man, you got it. I feel like I'm working towards something a little bit bad down here. Again, as Rob said earlier, as Grack said earlier, don't forget to follow us at twitch.tv slash mmorpgcom, or you can just click on follow if you're watching it on the site right now. We will be streaming something even better than Torchlight 2 this weekend. Promise. Starting Friday. That's all I can say. Actually, pretty sure we can say what it is, but I don't want to take that chance. Just in case it's not okay. Skeletons crawling out of wells. What's the world coming to? <clears throat> yes, there is an NDA um, until later this week. That's why we can't say anything. So many health potions. Never getting any mana potions. Yeah, we'll, uh, we've been, I think we've been in since Monday or Tuesday, um, but we can't really stream it yet either, that's the downside. We asked, we tried, but, you know, uh, there are actually completely new classes, Jay Haste. It is, um, the Engineer, the Ember Mage, the Berserker, and... Oh, there's one more that I can't think of. The Wayfarer or something like that? They're all four of them are brand new. None of them are from the original game. I sequel, I wish it was Planet Side 2 that we'd be playing. <laughs> it's not though. That I can definitely say no. I love that I can stream this game while just using one hand. Don't worry, the hand's above the desk. I think we all are, Jay. Or sequel. I think we all are. Level. I'm still barely known in terms of fame, but I'm level 9. And we are going to... I still can't put another point in him. I have to be level 10. Any of those. Let's keep focusing on my awesome skill of awesome. My flame hammer. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I'll be playing Guild Wars 2. Um, it's funny, as press, you know, we get sent review copies a lot of the time, and it's one of the, I guess, the perks of the game. We're like, here, play this game, and sometimes we're lucky, and sometimes we're not. You know, you get a 
a good game that you have to review and you get bad games you have to review. Uh, but usually they're always free. So, anyway, we'll probably get free Guild Wars 2, right? I still paid $150 for the collector's edition. I ponied up the money for that Ridlock statue. I feel like I've got to be getting close to the boss. Maybe not. This is a long dungeon for like a side quest. <laughs> well, Ripper's lucky. He works for us so we can get him access to betas. <laughs> Very nice perk of this job. I will say that. Get to play games and see games before anybody knows about it. Stop opening these sarcophaguses. Sarcophagi. It's always just bad. Wow, that was a close one. Yeah, when we have to review a bad game, it's bad news. Um, luckily... <laughs> Here's another perk, and I'm not even trying to be a jerk. My job as managing editor means I get to review the games I want to review, usually. Uh, but I've reviewed a few bad ones in my time. Um, and I'll, honestly, I don't even do much reviewing anymore. I do all the behind-the-scenes stuff. Our review staff, those guys, they review things like, you know, Hello Kitty Online and Elegium and have to slog through them all. What are you going to do? More docks, more drocks. All right, boss time. Yay, let's try to get killed. Get yourself out of the wall. That's a great animation. I feel like I better check, make sure I have really no better weapons or armor to use that one. Here we go, better boots. Nice. The mace. We'll replace this one. Okay. Alright, we're doing better. <clears throat> okay. Am I doing... Yes. I am absolutely 100% doing my dream job. Um, it's not the only job I have. I also work full-time at a veterans hospital. Which isn't a dream job, but it's a righteous job, too. Um, but this job... If I lose this job, it would be my own damn fault because I love it so much, I try so hard at it that uh, if I got fired, I would, I would probably be screwed. <laughs> I love this job. The only thing I could imagine that would be better would be actually working on games, and even then, that might not be better. If your game fails, you're screwed. Our website rocks, so uh, we do a pretty decent job. Are these little things? Gross. A lot of stress. Oh, developing? Yeah. Oh my god, I was gonna say my, my job's not stressful. I have cake, but uh, developing. I can't imagine what the people at uh, Secret World are going through right now, trying to get their game ready what the people at Terra just had to do. Hell, what these guys, or what Torchlight 2 is getting ready to do, they're not even making an MMO, but they've got a, a shipment date in mind that they haven't announced, but um, you know they're trying to hit a launch soon. And if we're in beta and we're testing it like this, it's gotta be not far away. <laughs> yeah, being a professional and your hardest judges, your biggest critics are teenagers that are... Uh, <laughs> 
What's the word I'm looking for? Entitled little kids. I have played the secret world um, at shows and stuff like that, and only a little bit. I know Susie Ford loved it when she tried it. Not at shows, it wasn't. I played for like 10 seconds, maybe. 30 seconds at PAX East this year. Ooh. Mysterious skeleton. Ruh row. Something tells me I did something bad. Remember that scene in Lord of the Rings, that Fellowship of the Ring? Yeah, that's what just happened. That guy's huge. Hey, hey, guess what I forgot again? There we go. Things got big. Ouch. Sorry if I'm not reading chat right now. This fight's actually making me pay attention. Thank God for that little healer. Lifesaver, literally. Pukes up those little wormy things. <laughs> Not cool, dude. And he's dead. There we go. Are they removing the three-faction system with it? Like, you won't be able to, uh... Oh, you can only play the Templar, that's right. Sequel 1. Save for next beta for Force. What? Sequel, they took out all the... Skill customization in what? Not in uh, Secret World. That's still there. That was at least it was there when I was in PAX. That skill tree or the skill wheel or whatever you want to call it is ridiculous. Yes, folks, I blindly sell, uh, I blindly sell stuff that is green and gray. Because what's the point of looking? Superior Goblin Mortar. Wish I used that. It just looks cool. Ghastly Boots. To town with you. Yeah, the inventory system's a lot like um, the Xbox version now. It seems to work really well. Yeah. I don't know 
why I sent my pet to town. It wasn't actually a purple get cooped, it was a, a quest, a quest item. What are you gonna do? So far, no really good drops. Just for this guy. Hey, I just got a new shipment. <clears throat> oh, but that's cool. Ah, oh, that's a two-handed axe. That thing's huge. A rare sword. Level 13, level 16. I can't use any of this stuff yet. I'm level 9. I'm gonna get the great axe. Maybe not. I can use that sooner. And I am going with dual wielding, so let's get to that. You have gained fame. But I gained fame. Oh, stay a while and listen. Stay a while and read me a story. Yeah, Secret World releases June nineteenth. Your pet has returned. And listen. Oh. Stay a while. Fill this cup with urine. Mm. <laughs> I should be using a two handed weapon. Yeah, I think the art style's relatively the same. You know what I mean? But it's polished a little bit better, and obviously there's a whole lot more to the world than there was in Torchlight 1. Yeah, it's sad that Bioshock Infinite was delayed. 2013. It'll be worth it. Still can't get that. I thought I was... Oh, no, I'm not. Level 9. Uh, well, this one's pretty good. Seismic slam. Your mechanically assisted stomp stuns all enemies around you. I'm just gonna hold on to the skill point right now. In the hopes that I can spend two on that. This one or that one. That level 10. Yeah. Dude, there are too many awesome games coming out. I just don't have time. I should be working on actual work right now, but I thought I could call streaming work, so that helps. <laughs> Is it for real? No, let's go around that. I'm not even sure where I'm going. I'm not really paying attention. Diablo 3. I'm excited too. Um, I, uh, I actually realized that it's not, you know, that first hour that you play of Diablo 3 isn't exactly indicative of what you're going to play in the whole release. I mean, it's literally like the tutorial dungeon, and people were all bent out of shape saying it was too easy. No crap, it's like the first hour of gameplay on normal. You can't even play Hard or Hell or Inferno. Elder Scrolls MMO? I'm quite excited. Um, but again, let's just say that I knew it wasn't going to be necessarily Skyrim Online well before it was announced. <laughs> and that's okay. Exactly. 
Heck, you don't even really get to experience a lot of the glyphs in Diablo uh, 3's beta. And the glyphs are one of the things that add the most customization and skills. get cooped I heard it was actually less like the the smallest amount of act one not near not even no it wasn't the full act it really wasn't we uh we asked them that exact question and it was like the very very beginning of act one not anywhere near the full act Other news, uh, Torchlight 2, kind of freaking awesome. <laughs> well, there's not supposed to be a main healer or support in Diablo. I mean, it's not really an MMO. It's a single-player game with online play, right? Whoa, holy crap, that thing's rough. Get a lot of loot. Would you call the Paladin a healer support class? I mean, I guess in, in a lot of ways it had that kind of aspect, but it was still a solo class that you would play and you could help other people. Wait till you see the skill system in Diablo uh, 3. If you haven't really played with it too much, there is a lot of, like, every class has support abilities, so, like, every one of them can sort of function as a, uh, as a Paladin, in that, if that's what you mean. Tizel, I actually agree. I thought the monk was a ton of fun. In terms of skills and stuff like that, werewolf? Yeah, actually, I think the class customization in Diablo 3 far outpaces what you can do in Torchlight. The combination of having like a deck of skills that you have to select from, because you can't just have a hot bar down here. Uh, there's only a certain amount of skills out of your skill book you can have at one time. Uh, and then adding in the glyphs, it gets crazy. It gets really crazy. The number of... Yeah, exactly. All that stuff. The number of... Um, the number of skill combinations and glyph combinations and sort of different class layouts, I think that... Uh, What's his name? Is it Chang? I can't remember what his last name is. He told us when we were at uh, BlizzCon last year it was something in like the hundreds of thousands of possible combinations. Wang. Thank you. <laughs> Wang. Yeah, I wanted to play the monk deeper too. I think it's one of those that I'll probably I'll dabble with 
but I think the Barbarian's gonna be my first class. I played it a lot um, towards the end of the beta, but I really started to like it. Even though it's very cliche, the Barbarian's a ton of fun. There we go, level 10. Exactly, Teasel. Teasel, Teasel. Teasel. Jim Trestle. You get cute, I actually, uh, I didn't see that. I didn't see about the, the witch doctor wiping people. Hey, Rob Gaming. Witch doctor's funny. I feel like the honestly though, the witch doctor I feel like isn't really in character for Diablo. For some reason, all the other classes feel right, but that witch doctor is so weird and out there. It looks like something out of uh, like a twisted Disney movie. Uh, not that it's bad. It just doesn't seem to fit with the rest. Maybe I'm wrong. skill points. Let's construction. Yeah, the necromancer would be sweet. I actually liked the druid. I always thought the druid was cool. He got a bad rap. I suspect, and I could be wrong, but you never know what they'll do. With the expansions, you might see a class like the Witch Doctor come back. Or not the Witch Doctor, the uh, Necromancer. See what I mean? I can't click it. There we go. It's like click targets. The click boxes are a little bit off. You know who liked the Demon Hunter a lot was uh, Susie Ford, our associate editor. She did the, the Demon Hunter a ton, and she loved it. She was getting it down pat, too, dropping these traps and then uh, and then kiting things into them. She, I mean, I think it depends on how well you play the class. I hope we're getting to another teleport soon. Waypoint. I feel like I'm running around in this forest forever. Gold. Never leave gold. See all these places to walk. The game's a lot bigger. It feels huge. And it's still randomly generated, too. They outdid themselves. Runic did. Type of ski? Uh, yes. <laughs> I actually don't want to stop playing it. Um, I have several betas that I could be playing. I also am thoroughly addicted to Terra, but I just want to keep playing this game right now because it's scratching an itch for, for action RPGs. The way I look at it this way, Diablo 3 is um, sort of like a whole new kind of action RPG, and Torchlight 2 feels every bit like uh, Diablo 2 did, with the world setup and the class setup still having the class skills and things like that. Um, I think people that weren't expecting um, Diablo 3 to have the skill system and sort of class system it does, um, and that were upset, were hoping for of like a graphically upgraded Diablo 2, they're going to be very happy with Torchlight 2. Me, I'm gonna play the hell out of both, especially when one's only 20 bucks. 
Runic Studios or Runic Games, yes, uh, the Schaefers. The Schaefers are actually the founders, the original founders, I think, of Blizzard North. They made Diablo 1 and 2, um, and then they later formed Hellgate, or Flagship Studios, with Bill Roper, which obviously we know what happened there. Um, and when they splintered off, they went and created Runic Games with Ta Travis Baldry. Travis Baldry is the creator of Fate, and also the lead designer on Torchlight 1 and 2. Rock Gaming, the price is uh, 20 bucks because that's just what they feel they can do. Without a big publisher, they're only filling their own coffers with their money. So 20 bucks fits their budget. That's what the original one was, and that's what this one will be. That was Hellgate London. Yeah, Hellgate London and Flagship Studios. Yeah. Why didn't they release it six months ago? Dude, I don't know. Maybe it was not content complete. It's polished as hell, though. Like, there's nothing wrong with this game. I haven't run into any problems, except for the fact that I keep running through bear traps. That's me, not the game. <laughs> oh, sorry, doggy. Yay. Oh, there's some big dudes over here. Get ready. Get my hand on Z and X for potion drinking. Quaffing. Holy crap. These guys just keep knocking me back. Run. One down. It's like a trio. Fine. There. Oh, there's one more? Holy cow. Ah. Look at all those health potions. I'm a spell. Dude, Greg, you're probably going to be too late. I'm leaving in a few minutes. But just so you guys know, Greg will be back streaming <laughs> Torchlight 2 with a different character. Get cooped. I wish I could do that, sir. I wish I could. But I don't think they would like that. I'll tell you what, though. If <clears throat> if they open up the beta a little bit more and they can give us some keys, I'll give them away. <coughs> Excuse me. I have Firefall beta already. Broccoli Eater, this is actually the full game. It's available for play for the beta uh, over the internet. So it's not, you know, you can't play single player, you can't play LAN, you can only play in that. Create a Runic Games account and everything. It was a nice surprise yesterday when we got these keys. See all that blood? Epic gloves! I know, dude, I saw those. I'm just waiting until I was safe. What do we got? Mysterious gloves. Cool Hand Dukes. <laughs> They're called Cool Hand Dukes. I need to be level 12, and I have to be a Berserker. I'll go put them in my shared stash, because they do have one of those. You have a shared bank for all your classes. Oh, I do think that I'm going to log out and let Grack have the stream, but I will keep chatting with you in the chat in a second here, so let me get out of here. I quit.
<laughs> it was a Dr. Pepper plug. <laughs> Bye, Type Aski. Type Aski. <laughs> anyway, that was, um, it was Torchlight 2. Uh, just thank you for joining me and playing along with me. Hopefully next time some of you guys will be in the beta, we can get you in there and do some co-op. Or maybe later, Grack and I will team up. I know he'll be up late. Aw, oh, thanks, Broccoli Eater. I'm not very cool. I just pretend to be. Dude, yeah, uh, War of the Roses looks fantastic, but so does the showdown effect. You should look that game up. It's like this side-scrolling game where you can use anything to beat other people up. It's crazy. Anyway, you guys have a, a great evening, and uh, enjoy Grack's stream later tonight. I'm going to go before the dogs start freaking out any more than they already are. Yeah, that's dogs. <laughs> The showdown effect. Yes, the showdown effect. Look it up. Later, guys. It is on Steam. It's not there yet, uh, but it's from Paradox. Go look for the showdown effect. And stay tuned later tonight on our channel, MMORPG.com and Twitch.tv slash MMORPG.com uh, because we're going to be right back here streaming the game. <laughs> I'll try not to get eaten. They're going nuts. I'm assuming there must be a person walking by our window. How dare they? Love y'all. Have a good evening.